in the, in the in the past and the present and the future for for South Florida. All right, guys, farming community, wish they had this out here. Farming communities all over uh, California, Central Valley, in big trouble here. The state's agricultural industry took a one billion dollar hit from the mega drought last year. Now one town is trying to keep the water flowing by recharging underwater aquifers. Here's part two of our series exploring California's mega drought. Oh, the soil is our is one of our lifelines. Each handful of dry dirt reminds fourth generation farmer Blake Wilbur of the struggle in California's Central Valley. It's our medium to hold water, hold nutrients, produce crops. With California's mega drought seeping into the family farm's bottom line. He's gonna grab these couple of bales in front of us. They've decided to trade the alfalfa out for a corn crop to feed dairy cattle to Larry County's main moneymaker. Blake and his family are hoping to make their farm more resistant to the drought. And the milk price has got to sustain a much higher level to, to make it worth paying for. Just seven miles from their farm lies the community of Okieville, where residents, mostly made of farm workers and their families, are praying they don't run out of water. I had a variety of vegetables, and there was nothing left after we ran out of water. They dried up. Jose Vasquez has been working this land for over four decades. He's watched the soil change and the town run out of options along with water. There was a lot of frustration because there was nowhere to get water from until water was hauled in on trucks. This was the way we survived for a few months. Jose's house is one of around 100 homes that make up the community of Okieville. The drought hit this area especially hard from 2015 to 2019. In the disadvantaged communities, there's many people that work in ag that we are absolutely reliant on their labor to help carry out these the tasks that we have day to day in, on the, in and on the farm. In the farmland of California's Central Valley, this story of water loss isn't rare, but it's unique because of what this town is doing to survive. We've moved past um, trying to uh, figure out what the solutions are to now putting the solutions on the ground, like recharge basins upstream of disadvantaged communities. People in Tulare County rely on groundwater. While those who live in the cities are connected to public water systems, people in rural areas have their own wells. But a majority of those wells run dry due to the overpumping of groundwater because of the lack of rain and snow melt from the Sierra Nevada. That's where Aaron Fukuda comes in. He's the mastermind behind a groundwater recharge system. That's why this site is, is critical. It's just northeast of the community of Okieville. So we believe the groundwater will flow underneath the community uh, as we continue to do recharge. For every sip of water the community of Okieville takes, the Tulare Irrigation District will replenish the water thanks to grant money from the state. This will help levels stop going down long term. This project really is a bridge between all things. It's a bridge between our farm communities and our farmers. If we run out of water again in this community, we'll need to move to other places that have life, that have water. And if farm workers leave this region, it's going to hurt the farm sector tremendously. So this is a problem for all of us, and if we all kick in and help, that's going to be, we're going to be moving towards that goal a lot faster of sustainability. Ugh, a big heat wave coming next week, too, for that region. Hey, tomorrow we travel to Mendocino, California, a town without municipal water infrastructure. Homes and businesses rely on individual private wells. Now 150-year-old wells in this once water-rich coastal village are drying up. We will explore the options available to Mendocino tomorrow. Mm. Steph. Looking forward to that.